All right. What we're doing, being asked to do is to factor this by grouping. This requires at least four terms or an even number of terms, and you'll see that um, in this case. What I'm going to do is first define my two groups. I'm going to take these first two terms together, uh, 24p and the plus 4, and I make that one group. I'm calling that the blue group. And then uh, these last two terms, this 6qp plus q, that's my red group. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor out the greatest common factor out of these groups. And so what I'm looking for is the biggest thing or the greatest common factor out of these first two terms. And uh, that would be the coefficient would be a 4. And then I can't uh, factor out any variables more specifically because this second term right here, the 4, doesn't have any variables to give. Uh, but so what I'm going to do is factor out a 4. Um, and again, to remind you, when I factor, what that means is just I'm dividing each term, basically. I'm dividing it and then putting it on the outside, undoing multiplication. But uh, so 24p divided by that 4 gives me 6p. And then this plus 4 uh, divided by 4 would end up being a plus 1, because 4 divided by 4 is 1. All right. Now for the second group, um, analyzing it in the same way, I'm looking for the greatest common factor. Well, this second term here, this q, doesn't have any interesting numbers. The coefficient is just 1. So I can't factor any numbers out. Uh, but they both have a q to give. So I'm going to factor out a q. And uh, what I'm left with when I factor that out is uh, 6p. And again, factoring out this variable just means taking it out of this term or dividing it out. Um, and then the plus q divided by q, q divided by q is just 1. All right. So if things are working out well, which they are currently, um, what I have are the exactly the same binomial factor in both of these new terms that I've created right here. In fact, I have this 6p plus 1 and 6p plus 1. This is the hardest part of factor by grouping for folks. But what I'm going to do is factor out that 6p plus 1 from both of those terms. So I'm going to factor it out of this term right here, and I'm going to factor it out of this term right here. When I do that, just as always with factoring these common factors, I put it outside. And what I get left with is whatever is left in this first term. And how I think about that is I'm just going to cross off what I factored out here. And what I get left with in the first term is a 4. And in the second term, I get a Q. And that is my factored form. In fact, by grouping again, uh, what the word factor always means is rewriting the expression written as a multiplication of two mathematical objects. And in this case, I have 6p plus 1 times 4 plus Q.